Okay, we are about ready. Just give me a minute. Let me uh, make sure everything's set up and ready to go. There we go. There's that. Let's get this started, shall we? So last time, we got three out of the four bean stars, and we are kind of close to getting the. Uh, we're getting close to getting the final one. We got most of the bean fruits, but there is a one. There's one more uh, coffee that I want to make before getting it. But I needed who beans, and we needed to find a lot of hidden uh, blocks. Plus, there's a bunch of mini games to do for achievements, so we're kind of just gonna be doing a lot of that. Maybe we might do some today. Whatever. Let's start with this one. We need to get a score of 40. This one wasn't that bad, and I was messing up a lot in the beginning, so this might go okay. Let's see. At least when you get hit, you can still, like, knock out a uh, some of these, uh, you know, uh, fireballs. So, like, getting hit is not the worst thing to happen. That one wasn't that bad. Again, we needed to get 40 to get that, uh, to get that, to get that achievement. You got seven beans out of it, but that's fine. Okay, so, before, so, we've taken care of that. There's two other minigame ones we can do, which will need to be done. We'll see what we can there's also going back to Har Hall. Uh, I have a list of hidden blocks li uh, pulled up. Let's go ahead and go who bean hunting. So, uh, okay. There's a few in Shucklehuck Woods. One's there. I think at this point we're just gonna get all that we can. Now I have to go all the way, basically to the end of the area. Actually, 
Actually, you know what? I should fight. I should fight these guys. Only because if a, uh, if a gold one pops up, I may be able to steal. I'd rather get hit. So gross. I messed that up. Oh well. Again, there was like one other thing I could steal from enemies, but no luck. I, I did not time that right. I think I can go out. So actually, you know what might be better to find gold? Do this. Perfect. Just hope for a counter attack. Never mind, that didn't work. Well, my plan failed. They stopped. That's dumb. He already attacked. He shouldn't be able to run away. I guess what happens is the, the chestnut enemy has an attack, but once they become a bean, oh, no. they're considered a different enemy. So they get a free turn. I guess. Kind of dumb. you're supposed to know. Once here. Again, there's no real indication that there is something here. I guess you're supposed to just line yourself up so that there's no hidden blocks in the background here and just keep jumping. But there's a good chance you'll miss anyway, so there's that one. Those are all the ones in Chucklehuck Woods. Uh, there's the two that were in the Winkle area, which we got already. Uh, let's go back to Beam Bean. Yeah, I think we have to go back the normal way. Chestnuts are along the way, but I, I doubt we're gonna get what we're looking for. Because I could just uh, stun them with the hammer, but that's not going to. Oh no, another bot. So we need to buy bot. Whatever shall I do about it? That was worth a shot. Again, the, the, the sealable item didn't seem that useful. It's a badge that, from what I can tell, just boosts power and that's it. Okay. In the Bean Bean Kingdom itself... There is one house on the western area. There's a house to the south of the east. So this house. Right. Yeah, 
There, there's that. We should already have the five in the castle. I, because I knew those ones were there. Unless I'm missing like two of them. Let's double check. I mean, if we're hunting for who beans, we might as well double check. All the way in the other side. Yeah, we already got all five. I had a feeling because I knew about those. All right. It takes care of all of the... All of the ones in Chucklehuck and in Captain Thunder. All right. Let's go to the eastern side. There's one on the outskirts. There's some in the Ho University, but uh, I don't know if I got them all, so we'll double check there. Okay, south. And we want to check... Where is it? No, is it on the east side? something else we could do with this in this area, but no, it's just for a hoopy. There's one in Oho in Oho Oasis. Oh, Oasis, but Oh Oasis, whatever. I don't know how it's fully pronounced. There's one there, but I feel like it's just one, and if I already got it anyway, I don't want to take the time to go all the way over there. It's in the fire shrine. I think we'll save it. There's a there's a faster way to get there eventually. We'll double check that. Uh, there's two in Little Fungi Town. I think I have one. One in Tiki Valley. One in Guahar. Actually, there's a few in Guahar. There's a there's very few places left. Let's go ahead and check the University. Yeah, time to double check the University again. another set? I don't remember which room it is. It might be the first set of rooms we were supposed to go to. At this point, I'm just trying to avoid enemies. No, it's not this room. I'll get rid of you. Get out of here. 
Too bad the counterattack damage isn't as strong to when you KO these guys. Need the rally block. I kind of skipped those. Right. This is the room I think I want. Time to double check. This way. This corner. Down here. Okay, I already found the four. Just wanted to double check. Good to know. Okay, I knew about those. And there's not an extra one. Okay. Uh, like I said, there's one in the Fire Palace in the Oasis. There's two in Little Fungi Town. One in Tiki Valley. Although, I missed... I, I think I missed the one in Tiki Valley, and we have to come back later. I don't... It was on the way to the ruins with Luigi, and if I missed it, I think there's no way back right now. So I think we just need to leave that alone. Uh, there is a set under the ocean in Guajar Lagoon, and there's something in the seabed. Oh no, we can only get one more set of these, and that's at Guajar Lagoon. Okay. Back to Guajar Lagoon. Get out of here. Let's go. Yellow to red. Alright. Try to dodge enemies. And we made it. Okay. Off to Guahar Lagoon, and it's one of the underwater areas in within Guahar Lagoon. Uh, the fastest route. Uh, there's just like two pipes that are kind of close. Doesn't really matter. Both of them are kind of the same distance. I can't go up uh, on this beach. Uh, we can't make that. We have all of our abilities, so... Oh, it's from here? I thought I hit him. Can't make it. No, not like that. You know, you probably need to get them from going around uh, one of the other, other areas. Right. 
so I guess if you wanted that... No, you can't... Okay. We're not going to... Oh, 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 Oasis. We'll save that for later. There's only one there anyway. It's not really worth going there right this second. Okay. Back in Gua uh, Guahard Lagoon. Let's, get, let's take this path. We can also save... I could have saved them here for later. Take the left path. Because it's in the underwater area. Oh no. Man, Luigi, you're just constantly getting hit in the back. Uh there's no way to hurt the boomerang, bro. Oh wait, maybe wait, can you jump on the boomerang? I don't think so. Yeah, no, you can't just jump on it. Just wanted to see. Oh, oops. Oh, attacking the Luigi. Kind of same idea. We are just gonna make this quick. Try to avoid as many fights as possible. I'm not even trying. Okay, fine. Um, actually, I don't think we need to boost Sash, so we're going with a BB. Yeah, you know what? I better boost some speed. Okay, fine. I need the left path. It could have been. It could be up in that water area. But I think it's in here. So we need to take this path. Nope. Avoiding as many enemies as possible. Oh, come on. And then the water. Up there, maybe? Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and attack Luigi again. And Luigi's level 30. Okay, Luigi, uh, I actually need you to boost HP now that I remember. I'm remembering something I have I need to do for achievements, so we need him to boost HP. Where are we at now? Is that really all we're at? Can we boost my max HP? 81? Is that the best I could do? Okay, well... Yeah. I need Luigi's HP to be over 100. Because I just remembered something I need to do. So we might try to prioritize Luigi's HP after a bit. Okay. I think it's in this room. Yes, it is in this room. I knew it. I knew there was something in here, I just didn't want to go swimming. Oh, are there clear towels? There are clear towels. See the big rocks on the ground? There was one right there. Here and here. Okay, those were the towels. Alright. Uh, we can't get to the... I think that's all we could do. 
Okay, there is one more I could check, but I'm pretty sure I got it. While we're still in Gua uh, Guahara Lagoon. Uh, I don't know what way will be faster than me, so we're just going to continue. How's the Chief of Hunting? Uh, so far, we got one for beating or getting a high score in one of the mini games. And right now I'm trying to get the the hoe beans so we can make the last uh, 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 cup of coffee. And so I'm just going bean hunting right now for at least what I can get. I'm just kind of double checking some areas. There isn't as many bean spots as you think there is. Okay, yeah, I did get that one. Okay, we're done in Guahar with you. Just a lot of the bean spots are uh, just kind of clumped together with like four or five of them sometimes. Uh, right now, again, there's one in Oho Oasis that I could double check, but I'm gonna save that for later when there's a faster way to get back to uh, back to Oho Oasis. Uh, right now, we are going to Little Fungi Town. Because I think there is one bean here I am missing. I know there's two here. And I missed one in Tihi Valley, but at this point I can't get back there because it was when you had to be Luigi by yourself. Right, okay. But yeah, right now we're just kind of going for some mini games and like kind of some cleanup stuff before moving forward. Uh, Tyler. There we go. I'll double check the other one, but I'm pretty sure I got it. But yeah, uh, we got f three out of the four uh, bean star pieces. And the reason why I'm doing like some of this cleanup now is because I wanted the final reward for doing the coffee stuff. And I need, and I want to do that now. Yeah, I do get this one. I want to do that now before getting the final one. Let me double check. Let's see. Castle, uh, town. Got all the ones in Chuckahawk Woods, outskirts, Woohoo University. There's the one in uh, the Oasis. Two in Little Fungi Town. One in Tiki Valley. We can't get. Uh, Guahar Lagoon. That's done. Okay, we're done with the bean hunting right now. Go back to the castle town and see if I can make that final one. Okay. There we go. So right now I'm gonna make the final coffee. I wanted to try to get some of the minigame achievements done today. But look, right now, uh, the two annoying ones are what's left. Uh, we may give them a try a little bit. We, we gotta go back to Hard Hall and do all of that stuff. We got one ho ho blend. <laughs> so finally, you're reading the last bean juice concoction. Missing from our menu. This will be my fine. Uh, this will be my final tasting. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Egad talking. Pardon my hastiness, but may I have the first sampling? Oh, since I know this is the last new flavor I will taste, I must say this is—it's the finest yet. Well, stop exaggerating. Thanks for that sound. There's a little something I've got to in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. The Game Boy Horror SP. So this one was always supposed to be EGAD. The rest were supposed to be other cameos. Since I have some sampled all of the drinks that there are to be sampled, I will most likely no longer be making any appearances here. But as the owner, I feel I must leave this here in my shop. Do you ever have any hardships or, or 
any sad days. Then you can gaze upon this picture and think of me. There, don't you think it brings a little respect to the shop and makes it slightly less... Kitty? I think it stinks. Well, that's the last of the coffees. And I really wanted to get... Uh, the Game Boy Horror SP. Defeat foes and always get rare items. Uh, this can be a way to get items that are from stealing, but you don't have to steal. And I think that's kind of how it works. But we need it for Luigi. The Cobalt Necktie is something we do when we need to buy stuff. Okay, that's done. Yeah. We could get the final bean fruit. We could do that. Start Har Hall. You know what? Uh, how about this? Let's go back to Little Fungi Town. Let's do a couple of the arcade machines, or at least one of them, and see if we can get the high score. I'm gonna try to like balance this out a bit. We need to somehow get to 480. So yeah, uh, for this minigame, we need to get somehow get to 480 for our high score. I don't know how we're supposed to do it, because I haven't even hit 400. Just get good, I guess. We'll try this minigame for a little while. And what we'll do is, if I don't get it, or if I do get it, we'll... Uh, We'll go on and get the last beam star piece. And uh, we'll try to like split up some of the minigame stuff. But yeah, what's going on, on your end, Tyler? How are you supposed to get that high on... Get the high score. I haven't even made it to... I almost made it to 400. You're actually doing some achievement hunting RE4 remake right now. Uh, is there any achievements that seem comp too complicated, or is a lot of it just play the game? Okay, you know what? There's probably something I'm misunderstanding about mini game. Maybe I might check the rules for this minigame. Because I feel like there's something I don't understand. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I might check the rules on this. There's something I don't understand. Uh, some of them are pretty tough. I'm currently going for the minimalist. Which means you can only use handguns, knives, for the entire campaign. Okay, that, that sounds like a decent challenge. Sounds like a pretty decent challenge. It's something you could probably do at any time. Oh, press start to view rules. Okay, let's see. The stars are just five points. The bombs are also one point. Okay, so I just need to get good. Come on. I 
don't... If there's another way of doing this, I don't know how. God! Uh, stars! Pause the timer for, like, a second. That's what you're supposed to do. I see. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. I was wondering what the stars actually did, because it seemed like when the middle was flashing with the stars, I didn't understand what was happening, but I think it pauses the timer for a second. The ones you're going to have the most difficulty are the ones where you're going to have to beat the game quickly. Oh, the speedrun ones. Okay, I can see how that could be tough. That's something you do last, though, when you kind of already played the game a few times, and like the route is like fresh in your memory. And if the route's fresh in your memory, you can just kind of know where everyone is. I was doing that when I was trying to do, uh, get all the achievements in Uncharted 1. Because there's a speedrun 1 for that, basically. Oh my god. I was gonna do, like, the ones for Uncharted 2, but then I, I think I got burnt out. And I just have to come back. some of the more doable ones first I go for those. Yeah, I usually save stuff like time trials for last. At that point, you've already played the game plenty of times. So, every... The map layout is all fresh in your memory. And if you're doing time trials, you definitely want to get that done before, like, taking a break with the game, you know, and stopping. If you were to, like, quit playing now... You are never going to remember what, uh, well, it's not that you're never going to remember, it's just more of, you're going to lose, like, all of the muscle memory of where everything is. So it's best to do that as soon as possible. you beat the game without heal any healing items. Uh, but at least you could play the game uh, normally without any other, like, drawbacks. So, like, you can use the strongest stuff for that one. Right? So, again, it's about getting good. And maybe save often. <laughs> So just in case you actually do use a healing item, or you've taken a lot of damage in one of the boss fights or something. Let me try again. Hey, Hawkhorn Dog. Oh, I thought that blew up. How's it going? Just trying to take care of some of the minigame stuff right now, but I don't know how much I could do on this one. Okay, come on. 
actually think I want the bombs in uh, to go in the piranha plant's mouth. Because I could just work on going the other side. Oh my god! No, no. Make it there. Oh no! <laughs> I am one point off! I am one point off! Oh my god. Uh, exactly, and the easiest difficulty has minor health regen too. So it seems at least doable. Oh wow. SpongeBob is wasting 300 episodes of SpongeBob for physical discs, seasons 1 through 13, all in physical media. I know they do that every once in a while. They, there's usually like big collections like that. Yeah, one point away from the Chivo. Oh, that, that pains me. Oh, no. And we were on a roll, too. It was literally one point away. Now, I'm not in a good rhythm. Okay, hold on. There we go. This is the rhythm I kind of want. So yeah, you can't, you want the stars to make it in because that pauses the timer for just a second. But if you like chain enough stars, you can start racking up a few points. There we go. Now on a good rhythm. idea is we want the bombs to hit the open mouth of the piranha plants when they're like at their lowest because the other side that's already higher up is now heading down which means I can start trying to get points in the other side that rhythm is broken then we kind of don't really have an easy way to get points going stars we get the better Ugh, come on. see what I mean just kind of a lot of time was wasted right there before one of the other times I was trying it made me think oh let's not worry about the bombs let's try to drop them no the bombs are actually what's making this possible get a good rhythm come on nope not this time didn't even make it 400 got close though We'll give it this a couple more goes, because I'm kind of now getting in the groove. Oh, come on. Yeah, stars to pause the timer, and the bombs at the right time to swap it. run, see? This ain't gonna work. There we go. Come 
I kind of wish this was like a pressure thing with the A and B buttons, where the it's based on how hard you press it. But the GBA couldn't really handle something like that. I know, like, if this was on, like, the PS2 with, like, the shoulder buttons, you could easily do something like that. Hell, even the GameCube controllers are in L buttons. You know, you could do something like that. Basically do half an A, but half an A press. That is something you could do. But, no, I just kind of have to tap the buttons, basically. This ain't going well, this ain't going well. well. What's going on on your end, Hawkhorn Dog? You know, I actually don't own any SpongeBob sets, but I wouldn't mind owning like the first three seasons. Because the first three seasons are s still hold up really well. But. It's kind of not on my priority, you know, of stuff to own. Spongebob went downhill. It just, kind of like other long-running shows, it just kept going. It just doesn't stop. But hey, kids still watch it, so why stop making more episodes? Rhythm. Okay, there we go, there we go. That's something. No, I, I didn't even make it to 400. I don't think this ain't ha this is happening. Yep. Not even made it to 400. The one good run I did. Speaking of physical collections, you just finished collecting the Sandman books. You know, I hear that's like a really good series. That's, like, one of the ones that are a must-read, but I... That's also one I haven't read. There's many... Actually, I don't read that many graphic novels, specifically. I just, like... I'm just more of a manga person. So, like, graphic novels just kind of... I, I miss out on, you know? There's just so much media to uh, consume, you know? track of. But speaking of, like, uh, like, comic series, I hear there's, like, some really good ones, like, with the Darkstalkers, and maybe the Street Fighter one's not bad? So it's, like, and I hear, wait, I think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ones is actually pretty good. So it's, like, there's a lot to, like, consider, and that's not just, like, the, you know, the Marvel and the DC. But because I kind of prioritize manga more, I just kind of ignore the other stuff. Uh, like, there's Sandman, there's uh, Watchmen, I think is another good one I hear a lot. Uh, there's, uh, I think Hellboy would be one of them. Is Spawn long-running, or is Spawn, like, a, 
more or less a mini series. Score. Yeah, there, there's just a lot to keep track of that I thought it swapped over. This ain't that good of a run, I can already tell. I thought a bomb made it in. Come on. Come on. Yeah, oh uh, no. Yeah, I'm not even at 400. This ain't going well. Okay. Spawn is very long running. I think it's the longest running independent comic. Okay, I thought that one was also a long running one. I wasn't sure. But I know, uh, I know that was a popular one. Yeah, there's a few, like, graphic novel series I wouldn't mind looking into. I'm just focused on other priorities when it comes to my comics. I also just don't read that much online, so I probably would be able to get a lot more done if I did that. doesn't help is that the stars, or the bombs move way faster than the stars. So sometimes, like, I'll have the star ready to go to, like, jump in the mouth, but the bomb moves slightly faster. So the star doesn't make it in. Uh, I just made it to 400. DC made the Sandman easier to collect by putting them in bigger volumes recently. You were able to get the whole main series because of that. That's what they need to do, is just... DC and Marvel just needs to make big, uh... uh like... Big graph... Big collections of, like, the bigger stories, I guess. I know they have been doing that with some of, like, their more popular ones, because I think I saw, like, The Killing Joke being, like, one big co uh, collection, I think. Before, like, a few years ago. I think that was, actually, that was probably because of the animated movie of The Killing Joke that was being adapted. So, you know, gotta advertise, but... Yeah, just make compilations, basically. But I don't know, there's just a lot of for DC and Marvel that even if you were to just look at the back issues, there's just so much there so much can probably be mediocre that it's hard to tell what to read, you know? Unless you just read everything. That's why I was kind of told that if you were to get into, like, DC Marvel stuff, don't necessarily go with a particular character. Go find a writer. You know? Find a writer you like and just keep reading their stuff. Actually, you know, uh, like, I, one of the graphic no novels I actually did collect was the Mega Man ones. It didn't last that long, but I was only getting the, the, you know, the, the basically the foreign one, the, the hard covers. And after a while, Archie's like, nah, we're just not gonna make them anymore. Like, why? Like, it's one thing to end the series, but they, they seem to stop making the hard covers. And where they seem to have ended is in the most, is the stupidest place I've ever seen. It bothers me. So now, basically, if I want to complete the rest of the Mega Man stuff, the Archie Mega Man stuff, I have to find the single issues.
timer. Yeah, nope. Uh, I should say, uh, you were a comics kid growing up and learned that the hard way. Uh, no, like, I was always a manga kid. Uh, my older brother had the Naruto, had some of the Naruto manga, and that's how I got into it. That's how I got into Naruto, let alone just manga in general. And then, like, I found some manga for the Mega Man Battle Network comic. I'm like, oh, I like Battle Network, so I grabbed that. At some point, I picked up the Zelda ones. Actually, no, it was Kingdom Hearts. It was the Kingdom Hearts manga. Zelda will play later. But yeah, the Mega Man ones, I now basically just need to find the single issues. And it makes me mad. Now, Grant, maybe I should check to see if that's actually the case. Maybe I just missed a release at some point. But... Ugh. It's so dumb. Because where the physical volumes left off for Mega Man... So, I, uh, I don't know if you remember, but at one point, Mega Man did a... There was a Mega Man and Sonic crossover comic series. And that's how I first, you know, read some of the Mega Man stuff. Uh, and, uh... So, because of that, uh, they eventually did another set of crossover comics. And it has a lot more stuff. A lot more references to, like, Mega Man X and right? Well, I think it's called Worlds Unite. And, uh... In that series, the physical editions only lasted... I think it was supposed to be a three... Uh, it was like a total of four, uh, 12 issues, right? And the big... Uh, uh, the big hardcovers are four and one, right? So it should be like three issues. Well, there's only two last I checked when I was trying to get them. There's only two of them. And they're just like, no, we're not going to make more. And it makes me so mad. I can't even finish the freaking crossover comic series, as far as I'm aware, unless it got... Unless that got a release at some point. And then, let alone, like, the rest of the Mega Man comics after that don't have releases. But, you know, the Mega Man comic ended, so, like, or got cancelled, I don't know. It's probably cancelled. That was probably the more likely one, because it was Archie and they didn't really care. I need to reread what I have. But I also want to, like, read the rest of it. <laughs> <coughs> At this point, I just want to keep doing this mini game at the very least. We may save the other one for a different time. Uh, we gotta do the the barrel mini game as well. But with how long this one's taking, we may hold off. Still, probably take the time to take care of the hard all stuff today. I knew this one and the barrel minigame were going to be the longest to take out. This is a really big high score you have to get. Come on. Yep. Get the star, swap it over. Star, swap it over. Swap it over. Good. We got the star. Swap it over. Star. Swap it over. Swap it over. Swap it over. Got a, got a star. Swap it over. Oh my god, we got it! Oh my god. No, I am done.
that was very close. And with one point to spare. Never again will I try to go for a high score like that. This is the... Got a new game in series, so you'll love it, I swear. This is the Donkey Kong Barrel minigame. We'll, we'll come back to that one. I think. We'll save the other one for later. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. So. Let me look at something. I don't... Oh no, I should have kept that up. Okay, so before doing more minigame stuff, let's go ahead and get the last beast. We'll go get the last bean star piece. The story will move on, and then I'm thinking we'll probably do the hard hole stuff and then move on with the plot. We'll save maybe the Donkey Kong Barrel minigame for maybe next stream. I don't know. Or later. I don't know. I I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll play as we go. Super Syrup. Okay. Oh, wait. Is there something up here? I think there is. Hold on a minute. Not here. Oh wait, no. I think we need to go up this way. I think there's like a hidden uh, passage over here. Did I do this? I don't remember. I don't remember if I did this. How do you win? You disappear because your mobile data went whack. Well, what happens is. When you're when you pop in chat, your avatar stays in for a little while, even when you leave. I don't know how long it stays. Actually, I think I did this one already. Yeah, you know what? I already know I did this one. Yeah, your little avatar stays in for a little while. I don't know how long it takes for it to leave, but that's why you want. Your character will still be here. I already did that one. So we want to go... Oh, no. Get rid of this bean. Black and bean. Get out of here. So, what I have equipped is the Game Boy Horror SP. And... Apparently, it lets you get rare items from enemies. And I think some of the stealable items are considered rare items. So it's kind of a way, it's an alternate way of getting rare items without needing to steal. But I want, oh, right, this section. It's just a little score. I used to love playing tricks. I used to tickle my friends from behind. They have water in the mouths. Gosh, that was a funny move. They'd laugh, and they just spew out water everywhere. I'd never do that now. It was sure fun when I was a kid. Ah, oh, the memories. Uh, Marvel Strike Force is currently under fire since the community is mad about the MI earlier today. Oh, great. Another controversy with the mobile game. What'd they do? That, and plants grow instantly. We're just making Mario fat right now. Yeah, 
I, I should double check and see if any of those Mega Man Archie comics ever got another re-release or more got added to it for the for the hardcovers. Because I want to finish that freaking collection, even if the story might end on a cliffhanger. I'm just mad that like they stopped releasing. I still think I probably have to get uh, the rest of the series with the paperbacks and track them down. It's probably how I'm gonna have to read the rest if I want physical volumes anyway. How often does stuff like that happen with comics? It's one thing for a comic series to not get, like, a hardcover release. It's another for it to, like, get one and then stop before it was finished. Get that chuckle bean. Congratulations! Get this item! We got a red pepper. And a green pepper. I didn't... I haven't used red and green peppers. What they do is, uh, red peppers can give you a attack boost, but it gives you the weight, uh, the heavy gravity status effect. And green peppers can boost your defense, but it gives you the low gravity status effect. Past two weeks, depending on your ranking in the arena, you'll get some orbs that drop different stuff and shards for your lab. People thought this was a small thing to get a little bit for them before the event actually drops. Yeah, something to do before the event, right? Just to get some prep work done if you have time. It saves time for when the event actually starts. Oh, no. Great, Luigi. What, how come you're always getting caught? Whatever. I got three red peppers for that, apparently. But yeah, this is also a case with the Mega Man comics where I think Archie might also have lost the license to it, so I don't know if they can continue to sell their back the old issues. I'm not sure how all that works. Let's look at the schedule for the next month was released. Turns out, this small shard thing is the Nair layer event to get shards for them. You can get between 0 to 180 shards, and most of the time, if you open 10 of them, you get between 2 shards and the average. So basically what's happening is this is the only way to get shards? Okay. Make a save. Let me take a look at something. So right now, there are two items we could get out of this. But... Uh, so this one is the Piranha Swing. This one is... Okay, I already made a save. There are two items you can get out of this. I think I want to try to go for the rare one. Because you do not have Mario for this fight, the only way to get the second item is to have the Game Boy Horror SP. I don't think it's guaranteed though. So, I already made a save, let's go ahead and try. dumb missions where this is, I think this is the only case where you have a choice to make. Whether you want the normal drop or whether you want the rare drop. You have to pick one or the other. Oh, 
it's not that hard because, you know, you have to be able to put, beat this as Luigi by yourself. Uh, you core for them, so you have them unlocked in the upcoming event that requires an island. Basically, it's okay to win event unless you have the core saves for them. Yeah. Time when they're farmable is three months from now, long past the upcoming event. Yeah, so if you don't do the prep work and you miss out on the event, if you miss out on your event, you gotta wait a few months before you could just grind to your heart's content to do it. Right. It was almost like Dissidia in a way. You know, when that was still around. Although, with that, like, when a new event came up, you just need to do, like, a few missions to get the new character. And... If you want to get like some of the rewards, you have to grind out like the raids on the harder difficulties to get out whatever the rewards you want to get out of it. And then once that ends, and then once that ended, uh, you had to wait months for the character to come back. But once that character came back, it, the character's there permanently. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, we got the rare item, the Piranha Suit. Piranha might spit out something, but, uh, Piranha Bean. Wow. Oh no! It's Prince Peasley! Oh, Luigi, you saved me, didn't you? Why, thank you so much! You're a huge help. Oh yeah! Luigi gets to continue his bromance with, uh, the prince. Look how tall you grow. I see. I guess I wasn't aware of the whole shrinking business. Say, Luigi, I'm not too fond of this body size. Do you think you could change me back? Who knows, maybe Luigi likes him fun size. Think that you know such cool moves. You're a real zero. I mean, hero. See, Luigi, it's just like having this like weird romance with the prince. <laughs> okay, but be careful. Look at the difference in my shine now that I'm back to normal. Zing. Now that's a shine. Thank you so much, Luigi. I feel like I must think. Please, I insist you accept this. I found this inside that large piranha plant back there. Please take it. Oh, yeah. We got the bean fruit. Well, I returned to my old self once again, so there's no point in staying here longer. <laughs> I will most definitely be getting the next bean star piece. And, oh, and be sure to give my regards to Mr. Red Mustache. Oh, yeah. May we meet again after gathering the bean star pieces! Bye bye. So back then, the way it worked was it would take six months for Strike Force to drop away to farm characters besides opening three new worlds. Most recent times they promised that within three months of the team's release they'll have farm free play. Now that's that's not that long of a wait. But by the time you get them, they're probably uh by the time you get them back, they're probably uh not meta anymore. So anyway, we got the Piranha Suit. Less defense, at least for Mario. Mario's currently equipped with... What's he equipped with? Smart Pants, that's right. And that was a stealable one. So we got the wool Trousers. Less defense, but you get an HP regen. Luigi still gets less defense than the Street Pants. So, the only way you can get... The Piranha Suit is to equip Luigi with the Game Boy Horror Yo. SP. That is the only way to get it. Normally, it would be a stealable item, but there's no way to fight him with Mario. The other op item you could get is a badge called the Piranha Swing. That is the other option you can get. It is just a normal drop. If it seems to give you 25 attack power, and also, if you use your hammer, you get a little bit of HP recovery by doing that. 
So, take your pick. I don't know. If you're stealing stuff, maybe the better option is the, the badge. I don't know. I don't know what would be the better option. But yeah, it's something to consider. But I think that is the only case of you having to pick and choose which item you want. Because there's no other way to fight that enemy again. So it's a one and done sort of item. Well, it's actually faster to jump, I think. Or they, like, start trying to lose interest if you jump. Interesting. Okay, now that we got all the bean fruits, let's go ahead and do, uh, feed some Yoshis. So hungry, I can eat a fruit. Well, oh, fruit, thank you. At first, they taste just like beans, but then the flavor of the fruit oozes out. Bean fruit is the best. Oh, you can take that. Oh, yeah. We got the red meat on egg. Okay, so, by the way, which of these four movies would you want to watch? I don't know, like, Mario and Luigi, that's not a bad option. I don't know how Legend of Staffy or Starfy would go. I think I wouldn't mind Kirby's story. I just don't know how a Wario movie would work. I'm so hungry. I want to eat fruit. It feels like uh, w the Wario movie would be that weird... Uh, that weird B movie, sort of. Maybe not B movie, but like, let's just say double A or... But not, not triple A. I know movies don't go by triple A, but you know, like... Be like the weird B-movie sort of quality, and you don't know what you're going to get. Starfy is trying to be one of those underdog movies, I think. So hungry, I want to eat fruit. Got the Azure Neon Egg. They kind of skip through, skip through a lot of the text now since we gave them the first one. That's uh, ni That's nice. So that way we don't need to speak through the lot of text. Oh, did I talk to you? Oh my goodness, Yoshis! There really are Yoshis here! I've never seen one before! This is so cool! I, I have to bring my girlfriend here! She'll flip out! Shut up! <laughs> it's just like, stop talking to me. You're kind of weird. to you and get the purple or violet whatever it's going to be called purple that should be all of it unless i missed one let's give it to let's give it to you it's on focus there we go <laughs> you did it you did it the theater is complete! Hooray! It's complete! Banzai! Thanks to you, my theater is now complete. Marvelous! Very well, as promised. Here's your reward. Oh, yeah. Also, this is kind of the reason why I want to save this one for last. That way, uh, you know, Prince Peasley was kind of eaten the entire time. Now he's trying to hunt for the other three. Meanwhile, we already had them all. Now you have all four pieces. Hurry back to Bing Bing Castle. Excellent. We're going to be rather busy preparing for our grand opening. Pardon us. Neon eggs are pretty. Just a way to look at the theater sign. They actually changed, uh, the eggs change color too. That's what makes them special. All right. We got all four Bean Star pieces. We can head back to Bean Bean Castle. And, yeah, we should do that right now. Have the plot at least move forward a little bit. Even if we don't actually go continue yet. And 
it's a good idea to do this. Let's go visit the queen. Again, you think you would need a fifth one. The bean star is revived. You got the bean star. Hmm, so the bean star is finally back to normal. The message has arrived from Bowletta. I shudder to think. And it's an orange GBA. Very good. You fools make fine scavengers. Now I want red and green to bring that bean star to me. The drop point is at the far end of the ocean, at the crypt for cruddy jokes called Joke's End. You can't get to Joke's End by walking on the seafloor, so don't try to... So don't try it, Cretans. Come after you learn how to cross the sea surface. And don't lose the bean star on the way, Butterfingers. Hmm, but if he... she... uh... It plans to return Princess Peach when we give give it the Bean Star. I'm not gonna say anything, but you know this. I wonder if this got retranslated in uh, in the remake. You know this dialogue would not fly today. And I can't be planning to use Peach's voice to a wicked Bean Star after all. That would seem to be so. Relax, all of you. We can just give the fiend this. A fake bean star, of course. Get the fake bean star. Also, please take along a change of clothes for the princess. I'm sure that Princess Peach will likely try, likely try to escape doing untold damage to her lovely dress. Just think of it drives me mad. Curse that battle letter. At least this old servant can help in some small way. We got Peach's extra dress. To get to Joke's End, you have no choice but to travel above the ocean waves. Perhaps if you go to the beach, you'll find a way to get there. Apparently, there's once was quite a fine surfing spot at one of the land's beaches. Excellent! Then the two of you will execute our daring plan. Oh, I almost forgot. I, you won our little bean star wager, so here you are. And here are your mushroom coins. 99,999,999,999,999 of them. Wow. Now, today's exchange rate... Uh, I'm not reading that out again. Much of coins comes to you. 99 bean coins! I'm pretty sure the exchange rate must have changed, because Tolstar, there was no way... Tolstar, like, the amounts changed, you know, when you compare the exchange from Tolstar. The, the amount must have changed. But the reason why I suggested to wait to, to set this up now... Actually, it probably would have been faster oh, no. not to walk. I don't know. Yeah, we only get 99 coins for a little wager. Want to go back up here and go visit our hammer buddies. out to be those Mario Bros again. You guys have the best time in Why? We just now finished mastering a brand spanking new hammer making technique. Want us to reforge your hammers for you? Oh, yeah. In that case, this will be a debut of our new hammer making technique. We'll get right to reforging. Re-reforging. Here we go. On your toes. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, that's some fine work we did. 
These are definitely the finest hammers available. They're even more powerful than before. With those hammers, you can break any kind of rock. Any kind at all. We've used all of our talents in making these hammers. May they serve you well. With our final hammer upgrade, we can also... Uh, we can break these rocks. Uh, before I continue, I'm gonna step away for a second and be right back. Okay, I am back. Just had to step away for just a minute. Just making sure everything's all good to go. Anyway. Okay, I'm picking this up. Okay. Sorry. I am Trump. Uh, do this minigame for 500 coins. Oh, we gotta hope we get lucky. Let's see. Break any one of them with my hammer. Let's try the middle. First try! We got the second secret scroll. Oh yeah! We can now use a new rose technique. First try. Now Luigi just needs to grind out his last bro's move. Each bro has four. Three mandatory, one optional for each of them. So now that that's done, uh, let's go and... I don't want to head to Joke's End just yet, but there's a couple things we can do now with the hammer, so we'll probably be... Actually, if we head to Joke's End, we're probably just going to get the green pipe to get the little points, but that's all we're going to do at the moment. Right now, I actually do want to open things up. Hold on. Alright. Run. Run across the sea. Why such a thing is impossible without a surfboard, that is. Say, if you can find something to jam into that hole, maybe it'll make some sort of surfboard substitute. Maybe. Luigi, you are now my surfboard. Go ahead and uh, waterboard yourself. That's one. That's an alternate form of waterboarding, I think. Let's see. Is there a way to tell where we are? Seems like we're at Oho Oasis. I don't know. I just know we're in the ocean. Wait. So, oh, here we go. I, I knew. I told you there was a faster way here. Alright. While we are here, let me. I want to double check if we got that hoobie. We did. It's that one. Okay. It's a good thing I didn't go under the ocean to grab it. If I am 
correct, there is a spot to jump onto another surfboard. There we go. We want to go this way. Now, I want to head south. Forget where everything is. I, I think I want to head towards Wahar Lagoon. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Game going on here. Any chance you two might be interested in playing? Uh, sure. Want to hear the rules? Yeah. Good luck out there. I meant to hit yes. Okay, follow the path to the right. the balloons along the way. Okay, that's good. Okay, I missed my time in there. I missed one. Nothing to brag about. No, I'll try again. Let me check the achievements. Because this is related to one. I, I know we have to get all of them. But I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like we just need to complete it. Wait, is that all? Just complete the minigame? There has to be more. Just complete the minigame. That's simple. Who cares about time? It doesn't care about time, so we could just complete it as our at our leisure. Time is 57 seconds. Have you gotten the hang of it yet? Try for 50 seconds or less. Okay, we just get a move game for that. Alright. Under 50 seconds. Got it. Got it. Okay. I can do that. I think to keep your speed, you want to keep holding the direction that you're trying to go. I think. I'm not sure on that one. Seconds, that's all that matters. There we go. That works. So you did. Your lapse time is 46 seconds. Not 
bad, not bad at all, but you still got work to do. See, if you could do it under 45 seconds, here's my present. This is a way to grind who beans. I was wondering, I thought, I thought there was no way to get more who beans. But no, they give you away, okay. Under 45. Nah, we're canceling that. Got it. I don't think we can really afford to turn around. The first few are pretty easy, so... Let's try to get them as we pass by. Nope. Not doing that. 45, got it. Yeah, we're gonna grind this out now. We're so close. Quick to reset. Okay, that one could have gotten in one single jump. That works. Take it. Under 45. Under 45. So, we got 40 seconds. You are something else. But can you break around 38 seconds next time? You got two hoo beans and two chuckle beans. Okay, that's one way to grind them out because eventually you run out of hidden blocks and underground beans. I are you kidding? Like there's gotta be a way to shave time somewhere. I have to shave two seconds. good, and the game's like, no. No, you're not done. You think you were done? No. Okay, no. Uh, let me check something. Jumping is okay. Uh, okay. I'm getting 
some idea. Because jumping is slower than just moving on the ground. We need to do stuff like that. I don't think we can afford to turn around. Nope. That one has to be gone at the same time. Jeez. And again, every time you feel like you've done enough, the game's like, no. No, you're not done. Three, double. One, two. Okay. One, triple. Right at the edge. I did not make that one. Okay, I, I think I have an idea what I can do. One second off. I need 38. Oh, that is so tight. That's such a tight time. Can we double up on some of these? Not the first set. This is a strict one. This one's very strict. I wonder if after I land, I need to give Mario a second to speed up. That helps with... Nope. I think I didn't know. It gets some of my momentum back. I wonder if that's better. Then jumping immediately. See what I mean? That was too slow. I mean, if it can't be done, you know, if it can't be helped, it can't be helped. Maybe I need to jump early enough for some of these to try to get some more momentum. Wait. Over. 37, 38. Oh. I think I got close. I think it's better to turn 
on the last, like, exploding barrel. Instead of jumping over it. direction when you land. Definitely don't want to do that. So I was thinking that like you could grind any of the five mini games to get you know the yellow beans. You could grind oops, you could grind enemies to get the green ones. The blue beans and the chuckle beans are limited. Because there's only so many in the grounds you can dig up. There's only so many hidden blocks. Oops. So this minigame really exists. Just so you can grind those beans out if you want. So I, yeah, I thought there, there was a limited amount. I did not hit that barrel. I would have had it. Yeah, give me my beans. I'll try that again. If I did not hit that barrel, I would have had it. I don't think jumping over it would have been faster. I feel like I still would have done the time that I did.
I don't know how I could do some of this faster. So. Enough already! Here, here is my present. We got the casual coral. Wanna try again? No. Casual coral. Wow, that is a huge defense boost. By 30 for Mario if we wanted to. Plus poison dodge. Or by 20 for Luigi. Ooh, okay. Uh, what does Luigi currently have? Just defense? What does Mario have? Just defense. Hmm. Well, Luigi's the tank. Might as well give him the casual coral. Right, I could give Mario the iron pants, but I don't want the heavy G. Okay, we'll leave it there. Alright, that's done. There's something else we could do somewhere in this ocean. Just not 100% sure where it's at. Gonna have to surf around. I just know it's somewhere in the ocean. be around there somewhere. There's like one other one other thing I'm looking for. Time to check every screen. This is the one problem with this section of the game. Because the map isn't that reliable for something like this. Try to see if we can find some other spot to explore. I'm pretty sure it has to do with the surfing minigame. Um, not the minigame, but just surfing around. Uh, unless there's another surfing spot in Guahar. Oh, wait. I'm down and around. Hold on. Does this lead somewhere new? Or is it just a big loop? Yes, 
just exploring the endless ocean. You'll find it, I swear. At this point, we're heading to Joe's end. That's not what I want to do, but it's so far that what we're going with. Oh, this must be Joke's end right here. There is a... Uh, there is a pipe here. I want to get this unlocked. I don't want to explore Joke's end. Not right now. Again, there's like one other thing I can do. I might look it up. Oh, Oracle. Okay, there's like two things I can do. Okay, first. That's suspicious. Oh, I got rid of the the other tab. Oops. Uh, I want to check. Oh, I think it's on this screen. The site is not actually telling me where it's at. Uh, no? Thanks. Thanks, Internet. Thanks for helping me. I might have to check uh, a different spot. Anyway, supposedly, there's actually more hidden beans or who beans in this section right here. Yeah, many more hidden blocks here, but I did not keep the tab open. So that's how you open this up. Congratulations, we get a one-up super. Okay. Okay then. And supposedly there's in blocks here. Ah. So one like right here. So far we found two. If there's more here, we didn't see it. We didn't find it. One who bean. Two who beans. Okay. Uh, I did not mean to fight. Actually, uh, I do need to fight. We need to go ahead and do Cyclone Bros. I forget how this works. So we're gonna take it slow. Ah, 
right. Seems pretty simple, actually. Back to land. Um, you know what might actually help me? Uh, actually, you know, let's check a different spot, different website. Maybe we'll find it. It's just in Guaharuga. Okay. I thought I just had to search around the ocean. But I'm reading it's just at Guaharuga. Alright. Never mind then. Okay, well, so far, four is the max of the Alright, Guahar it is. Uh, can I pull up a map? It's just at Guahar. Okay, I was getting confused. Um... Probably in that bottom right over there. Let's give it a go. I think we'll just follow the path normally and see what I can find. I think we're just looking for the stronger rock variants. I think that's all we're looking for. Oh no. Get past the ocean stuff. Five there. You can change targets mid attack if you wanted to. I'm gonna let him hit me. Do that. I was never really a fan of Cyclone. I just never felt it did that much damage. Probably doesn't help that using Luigi's stats. It's probably the main reason. I didn't mean to run. I need to grind out Cyclone anyway. Alright, 
Is there another spot? Just looking for the stronger rocks. I first came here 365 days ago. I ain't seen a soul. You are the first folks I've seen. Uh, let me tell you, even a star from way over that big old sea needs a stage to stand on. Uh, yeah, that's right, baby. Now, uh, tell me, fellas, don't you all know a place that, that, that shoot a shiny, shiny star like me? Come on, man. Yeah, that's right, a place for a shining star like me. Like a top of a festive tree. Uh, what's that now? You know just the place. Well, hot dog, baby. Ready to rock and roll. Say, say, fellas. Looks like you got yourselves a big old suitcase. How about you let me crash in that thing, baby? I got Spangle. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for Spangle, but I thought I just had to search the ocean for that spot, but no, it's in Guaha. Alright. Run back up here to her me. Anything to replace the bean thing with? If you happen to find something in your travels, you bring it back here. Did you bring something to trade for the bean thing? Oh yeah. Eh? Hey now, are we there yet? Whoa, no! Now that's what I call a festive tree. Amazing! I'm heading straight for the top, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! This is great, baby. I'm a rockin' the stage. You guys never fail. Hermie, look at that! Isn't it wonder- uh, Wonderfied? You d or... Wonderfied, okay. You did it. I suppose I owe you this in return. Think- uh, take it with you. This is We got the Soulful Bros badge. What does that do? Augments gross attack, so it's bigger BP gain, and you get uh, auto regen for BP. It's okay. Alright. So now that that's done, I want to take a look around, since we have our upgrades. Let's go to... Uh, we can... Start us? Do I want Stardust Fields? That'd be faster. No, that wouldn't be faster. We're going to Castle Area. We're going back up the mountain. Well, not all the way up. This is the direction. Oh, no. Come on. This is the direction I want to go anyway. Take some damage. We gotta work on this. And I can only get about five. Trying to avoid as many battles as possible. But I still need to grind, so grind for it. Okay. So up that way is a way back up the mountain, but we want to take this path. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. No, we want to go this way, if I'm correct. Because we go up, 
Very tough bat. No, not this way. That leads back up the mountain. I don't want to go there. Was it this way? No. There was a, there was another spot I'm thinking of, but maybe it's too right. Okay, anyway. I want to go over here. And we are at the ruins. I think I want to go inside. Oh, you can't go inside. Huh, there's no way back in. I did not know there was no way back in. Hold on. Uh, not like it matters anyway. So we missed a few enemies while we were in there. Fine, I want to explore a little bit of Tiki Valley anyway. Since we're on this side of the map. Back once more, what'd you miss? Well, let's see. Uh, I don't know when you left, but we did the sur we did a surfing mini game to get ourselves uh, the casual coral. We had to beat the surfing mini game in under 38 at 38 seconds. That took a while. We found a starfish that plays guitar named Spangle, and we gave him to Hermie to put on top of the Christmas tree, and we got the Soulful Bros badge. Um, we got our hammer upgrades. I don't know what else you, uh, I don't remember the last thing you, you saw, though. So far, that is my guess. All right, Molly. Hi. Hi. What is it? You want some attention? Oh, you want some attention? Congratulations! Here's this prize! We got Max Nun. Max Nun. Uh, we made it to Joke's End and unlocked the green pipe there, but I wanted to do other things, so that's why we have to continue there. Right now, we're just kind of exploring other uh, spots that... Uh, now that we have access with our new upgraded hammer. Okay. There is something here. No, it wasn't this spot. There was a spot on the route to the ruins. Yeah, over there. Okay. I, s I thought I checked, but... I guess I didn't check thoroughly enough. You know what? I was probably jumping here. But no. Yeah, there's a Hoopy. If you didn't get it with Luigi, you gotta wait a little while before coming back. Okay. There are some enemies in Tiki Valley I want to fight. I just don't remember where they are. You know what? I might not be able to fight this new set of enemies that I want to fight. It's probably to the left side there. You know what? Um, let me see if I can get to that left side. And if I can't, then I can't fight the enemies that I want to hunt down to steal stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through the desert. Oh, wait, no. Here it is. Here's one enemy. It just wasn't here because we were ex escorting Peach. That's right. Okay, first, we want Sweet Bros, and we want to steal from Bayonobu. Ah, uh, I missed that. And Luigi also has the Cyclone Bros. Don't know if you got that, if you saw that.
We got the rare item anyway, the, Anu uh, the Anubu cheese. Right, it's now because of the Game Boy Horror SP, we don't necessarily need to steal. It's a Luigi one. Let's see. Way less defense than the casual coral. By 40. But it means you get first strike. That's a option. There is another enemy we can find in Teehee Valley to get another piece of equipment. But I don't know. I just don't know if it's in this section. We'll keep hunting a little bit. Okay, it's none of these guys. Strong. And again, I can change targets, but ah, okay. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my normal mushrooms just to waste time. I'm gonna have to restock on it, but it's very cheap. I get about five of those, and I feel like I'm just not using Cyclone Bros. Right. So I restocked on the mushroom. Okay. Again, there's another enemy type somewhere in Tiki Valley. I just don't know. Again, I might just be in the wrong section. Never hurts to suck up on heliums, especially since I have 99 of normal mushrooms. You know? Never hurts. Okay. Might as well just do that. Another cyclone. got a bunch to spare, I guess. You know, I have a I have a feeling this other enemy is later. It's over here. It's over this way. Ah, uh, that's where the ship was. Okay. section a little bit. We'll be exploring here later, but if you can fight this enemy that I'm thinking of now, it's a good idea to do this. It might not be now. Can't go on the upper path. Dead end. Okay, so there's nothing here. I can't do that. So the enemy I'm thinking of might be later on. Because it just says Tiki Valley. But maybe it's a little later. Okay. So we got Choke's End. I'm going to take care of the other mini game that I was planning on doing. Not the Donkey Kong Barrel minigame. We're gonna save that. We're gonna go to Harlem and take care of all of that right now. Go south, not to the university. This way. Oh, no. Jeez, Luigi. 
you're too strong. Or Mario, you're too strong. Even when I fail, you win a KO. There we go. Oh, we got some super mushrooms. Oh my god. We could grind for those. Not going to, but we could. I want to head down here. But yeah, uh, I'm assuming you're trying to get your Annihilator team in Strike Force or something. Back to Harlem. As soon as I started selling my Splark clothing designs, I immediately sold out and started getting orders for more. You max them out already. Right, you use your core things. If you guys have time, I'd like you to make more clothes for me. If you make me a lot of clothes, I'll make you worth your while. But this time, I want you guys to make your own designs. The clothes you design will be recorded right here. Once you fill out these spaces, I'll give you something incredible. Good luck. We're gonna be here for a while. So let's go ahead and just start with red. Go down the list. Red checker pattern. Not bad, not bad at all. And that gets added to the list. You get a single woo bean for doing that. I guess you do that. You get a woo bean every time you make a new pattern. I mean, not the fastest way to get new beans, but, you know, it's something, I guess. Oh, I miss. That's fine. It's okay to miss. Okay, we got a star. I was trying to get the singles. Yeah, we've got to fill out this entire list. It's going to take a little bit. I did kind of say a lot of the stream will probably be like mini game stuff. Let's see, can we get Stripe or Spots? There we go, there's Stripe. Now we just need to open out one. Yeah, this is gonna take a little walk. But yeah, what are you up to, Hot Kong Dog? What's going on other than Strike Force? Unless there's stuff going on. Other things going on in Strike Force. Okay, yeah, Polka Dot. All the reds are done. Get rid of mobi mobility, huh? Mobility is usually the best part. Like, the, you know, figure out what the fastest ways to move. Or let you get around the map the fastest. That's why, like, Team Fortress 2, there was always, like, the... The rocket jump, you know? Just to get around the map. Although that only works with, like, two characters. But still... It was, a, it was a way to just get across the map. We did need the star. Okay. Jetpack is still fun. They nerfed its fuel mount. Oh, okay. 
so you just can't spam it. It's the best way to get... playing Twilight Princess. I, like I said, I was kind of in the mood to play Game Gear. And, uh, I was just going through the list, and I've also been in the mood to play a Zelda game. Got purple. Might as well just put on the list. Minish Cap? I was in the mood for, like, some of the 3D ones. But, like, like, Ocarina. Basically, somewhere, like, Ocarina through Triad Princess, sort of thing. I was kind of in the mood of one of those four games. Uh, but I was actually going to play Wind Waker. But it turns out, for the achievement set, they wanted me to have the European version. Because that's what it's linked to right now. So, I'm like, I could hunt down a European ROM, but I didn't want to hunt for one. And I could just play Twilight Princess right away. So, it's like, yeah, I'll play Twilight Princess. I'm already at the point where I finished the desert. That's all done. Again, getting achievements along the way. I guess, no, I probably need Pokemon. That's usually one of our annoying ones. Okay, Blue Star. We'll go get purple next since I already have that started. Gotta find the right timing to line up the other uh, the other sets. This just takes a little bit, but it's not hard. Oh, not the right set. Nope, messed that up. 
Yeah, Minish Cap does have achievement sets. I could play them. Uh, play and do that, but maybe in the future. I did not. I have never looked through the achievement sets for Minish Cap, so I don't know how good they are. Yeah, it's okay to miss. It's okay to miss. Striped and star. There it is. That was the timing. Alright, let's go for green. Where's the timing? It's not here. No, that's not what I want. So now it no longer locked behind players, which is great. It's a late day. Oh. So it's going to be slightly easier to work with. But I mean, there's Brown, I guess. It's going to be easier to work with, but you just can't do it right now. And at least it's only a day. Well, we got Brown set up. The timing for green. Still gonna look for it. We're gonna figure out that timing for green. Where is it? Where's that timing? No, man. So, this is for uh, Strike Force, correct? How many more characters for this Annihilator team need to be released? This one, I'm just going for Brown. Polka Dot. find green again. Where's the timing for it? How come green's like the hardest one to find? Oh, right at the beginning. Okay, good to know. The red one moves so fast. 
That's good to know. Two characters are reworked. Older characters, Ultimus and Super Surfer. Three that are getting an adventure unlock. Grat, Gladiator, Gore, and Endgame Thanos. Right. Oh, Endgame, not as you call them Finn. I see, I see. I think I remember you talking about Gore. Not uh, last week. Waited just a like a frame later, I would have gotten Polka Dot. Oh well, we'll do it another way. Almost done. One more. Gotta just get that green right. There we go. Now for Polka Dot. Done. Finally. That only took like a half hour. I don't know how long it actually took. Filled every space with all of these clothes. I can open my own shop. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please accept this. We got our Hall's pants. I'm going to be so busy getting ready to open my store. I don't think I'll be back here for a while. So take care. That's done. Our Hall's pants. Let's see. It's Mario only. Eccentric pants of, a, of the famous designer. You get a huge boost to HP, but you lose out on a lot of defense. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You just don't get a defense boost. That's what it is. So the casual coral only boosts defense. Carhol's pants only boost HP. But you also get the random gravity status effect. Alright. Now that that's done, the other option is... We got the Donkey Kong minigame. Gore isn't as, isn't that as content creators make them out to be. Hard counters, Black Knight, Old Man, Logan. And I'm guessing they needed to have hard counters, right? Kind of thinking of what's gonna what's left of this game. And what I need to do. the... I was thinking of saving this, but no. Maybe we'll... We'll try out this minigame. Want a barrel? Yes. Oh, yeah. I... Mm. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Clearly. you find this minigame fun? Good. 
that up, we need to get a score of 20. And look, I am not that great at this minigame. Oh, we got two out of that. Oh, if you get double. Uh, I think there's like a multiplier there. this minigame. Sorry, I'm not really saying anything on this minigame, but I'm not that good at it. I'm trying to focus. get a score of 20. Uh, well, they want him to be even stronger since he's Gore the God Butcher. In the comics, he's OP, but in the game, he's not that guy. A key member of the team is Thanos. Oh, yeah! You know, until a few months later when they decide to buff him. Because, you know, every the meta is now completely different. So they need to buff characters. find this minigame interesting. Because this might be the hardest one that we're going to be doing. Like, I'm not that great at puzzle games to begin with. Let alone this one. I just, I just can't see combos with a lot of, like, these types of minigames. Like, I, I really have trouble, like, setting them up. It. 
I feel like I just kind of lucked out there. Yep. 15. Ugh. I'm willing to give this a little bit more time. This might be something we might have to take a break, move on with the game a little bit, and come back to. Because um, uh, the Geno one, it's just a matter of time. You know, just, I mean, ultimately it is just getting good. Tell me, how good are you at puzzle games? Are you better at puzzle games than I am? Probably. even worse. Oh, yeah. Give it another go or two. I don't know. Once you start, you can't quit. This is bad.
Try that again. You sent was. There's currently a meta war defense team in war. And you're asking your if you're a annihilator is punching down. Wait, 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 wait. Enemy's power is 900k power team versus your current team, which is 2.7 million power annihilator team. So currently, the annihilator team is the meta, right? Is that what I'm understanding? I swear that was a combo that was perfectly planned and everything. Clearly. What do you mean you don't believe me? There's that, there's that. Somehow, that that was lucky. That was just luck. Ugh. Oh yeah! I don't know how much more I want to 
try this. Definitely my least favorite mini game. Try it again. They are meta in arena. The 9,000 A power team is the meta for war defense. But the annihilators is more for attack or something? Oh, yeah. War attack? I don't know. streak. Should really just be moving on to like the next pattern, like as soon as that's done. Yeah, 
Oh, I really can't though. They don't really let me. So far, nothing. Oh, yeah. That one, I wasn't even going for that one. So, how entertaining is this? <laughs> Clearly, it's this is the peakest like Super Mario, uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga gameplay you have ever seen. Clearly, no sarcasm whatsoever. Where? Yeah, like, somewhere when I get around 12, uh, I kind of lose everything. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Oh, yeah! How the hell do you get 20 barrels in this thing? Oh. 
That's the stupid part about this minigame, now that I think about it, you can't just exit. You can't just leave. That was almost a free, like, extra setup. For a double. I, I don't know where I'm going. This is going to be the achievement taking you the longest, just, just wait. Oh, there could have been a double there, maybe. I don't know how, but there could have. How repetitive is, if, is this song? Seriously. Yeah, boy. 
to beat Iron Score? That's the real question we're all asking. High score, but it's not good enough. Let me let me consult the achievements and see if anyone has anything to say about this one, other than this one's hard. If you get a four combo on the first sequence, you get 16 points. It's easy. How do you get a 16? How do you get a 4 combo? We are time with this one, but the test video will have the keys to make it so the two leftmost columns have five color A barrels in empty space. Two in the middle columns have one color barrel and one on the bottom. And five color barrel. Setting this up is easier said than done. Two less moves columns up and down is needed as long as you make sure. Alright. Let's oh, see if yeah. I can try this. So, the idea is we want... First two to be the same color like this. Then we want to do, but okay. Okay. That's not really what I meant to do. Uh, wait. God. That's... between No, I'm not getting this right. How do you set up a Come on. Let me see if I can find this up. Uh What's this mini game called? See if I can find uh, four combos. See if I can figure out how this is supposed to look like. That might help me. Yeah, I'm not that good at this. Oh, by the way, I hear the remake took out the undead Donkey Kong. No, I just want like strategies. Come on, 
just... Score three lines at the same time. A small scope. No, that's not what I need. Okay, so... I get that, but... If only I could like figure out like how to do the four hit, uh, the four combo, the game tips. No, that's for the new one. Nope, that's not helpful. Dang it. <sighs> Just try to keep going. Oh, yeah! I don't fully know what I'm doing. It's part of the problem. Well, we got four points out, and that wasn't part of the plan. It was not a part of the plan. But again, nothing is ever a part of the plan. Okay. I guess that's lined up. There's eight. Uh, the team one? Well, uh, that's, that's something. Sorry, just going insane. No, don't mind me. made it worse for myself. Okay, I lost it. Wait, 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 wait. don't know how to fully get this to work. If I could just figure out how to set up the, the chain, 
That might help me. But the problem is I just don't know. something going. Ah, here it is. 16! There we go. That's a start. That's something we can work with. But can I keep it? That's the real question. And the answer is probably going to be a no. But hey, it was an attempt. I just noticed something. There's no yellow bell barrels. Uh, no yellows. That... Almost made it. Almost made it. Okay. <laughs> we gotta try that again. We just need 20. Okay. That was... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea how the hell, like, I set that all that up. But it was close. Okay. So, we do that, we do that. We gotta make sure to do something like that. Then I want... I didn't, I messed that up. I almost had it. Now I think it's, uh, now I think it's broken. Yeah, the chain is broken. I don't know how I did it. But that, that four chain combo is what we have to do. If I could just freaking figure out how to do it again, we'd be golden. Uh, 
at this point, yeah, we're just letting the timer go out. I think at this point, we're gonna finish this oh, barrel man game. I will try to get this and figure out, figure this out. Some lined up already. I'm gonna make sure to do that. I wanna get another set of barrels like that. That's not, uh, not what I wanted to do. I didn't see that one. I can't reset or anything, so that's the that's the second part about this. I don't know what to do. Again, I kinda lost it. it so it seems like the starting set gives you enough to do a four chain combo and that's it. After that it seems random. Yeah, I can't do a four chain combo with this. So what we'll do is we'll get a three. That's something. And look, there was a chain chomp, undead chain chomp on that popped up. Okay, I think I'm getting the right idea. I just need to execute this a little bit better. Yeah, right now, at this point, it's just kind of practice. Okay. I was so close. Yeah, I mean, I've been here for a while. Try that again. Alright. Let's two up. Almost there. We're almost set. We're almost set up and ready to go. Okay. Uh, I can't pause either. It's the uh, it's the bad part about this. Once I'm at this point, I don't know what to do. Okay. Great. 
I, I don't know what to do. Um... up with these two rows. Oh, I think I know. I think I kind of know what I need to do. I, I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. I think at this point we might just wait the 20 seconds. But it seems the yellow barrels pop in when, after a certain amount of times so you've made a line, not a score tally. So it, if you manage to get the 16, you'll probably never see the yellow barrels. Damn. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Don't know what to do now. Um... Not enough to get a another chain going. Yeah, at this point I'm just kinda of messing around until I until time goes out. I really wish I could reset. this again because I am dumb and I can't and I'm bad at this game. something. 
Jeez, I get jump scared because I don't see it. I don't see everything. You think that would be a combo, but it doesn't count. That sucks. Our best shot is getting at 16. Like, I, I see what I need to do, but trying to get everything lined up is what's my problem right now. Okay. Uh, some, right now, I'm just kind of trying to practice. That's not what you were supposed to do. Dang it. Just trying to figure out how to get the four barrels that would be in the open spots lined up in a way. I think at that point you're supposed to take one of the ones that are complete and do something like do something like that, just so nothing's lined up correctly. That way you can line up the last couple barrels. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh yes, we'll try it. I am now alternating everything, and it's, like, confusing. Let's see. Push that one out of the way, move that down. Move that there, move that there. Is that okay? lined up. Now, I need to take this up here, move that out of the way, I think. Then we need this. have it. Almost have it. Oh, 
Okay, there's the 16. It took me a long time to get it, but... Yeah. Alright. If I could just do that again, but faster... No, that's... Uh, that was my mistake. Do that. I will figure this out eventually. It is my sworn duty to figure it out. The achievements demand it. What are you doing, Molly? Okay, she's being weird. So that's it. I, I'm, I'm fine with that, Molly. I just want to be weird. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. Hi, Molly. You want attention? I mean, I did kind of call you. Can you help me get the 16 combo? Really? You're just giving me attention. You just want attention. I know. Yeah, I know. Yahoo! I'll figure this out eventually. Luckily, I think this is like the last, like, annoying achievement we would need to take care of. Because after this, Yahoo! I think we're done with the mini games. So this would be the last one to give us a lot of trouble. side has most of the barrels. something here. out of the 
way. Why do... scares every time as I can't see some of these puzzles. I'm going to get this. Look, I'm already at nine. Can I get the rest done one at a time? Probably not. Can't you tell I'm going insane right now? Seconds. Man, I really wish I could just click the minigame and reset. How come this is like the only one that really doesn't do that? Or if, uh, actually, no, you I, you can't quit border jump. But it's easy to fail. It's easy to just fail border jump if you don't wanna if you just wanna reset. At this point, I think we want to just complete this. Oh, yeah! We can try it anyway. Okay. Make sure that's lined up like that. Um, See my problem. Let's see what I did wrong. Damn. Okay. Um. Gotta be careful. seen some of these. Watch, someone's watching this and be like, oh, you idiot! Just, just move the barrel over there! And I'm like, I can't see it. Um, I think maybe once you get one of the colors ready to go on the left side, just need to focus on the ones to the right, maybe. Okay. Ba, 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 da, da, ba. I can't reset this mini game. This a lot if, if I could use save states, I would save state at the beginning. But no, that's not a thing because hard code or mode. This game doesn't have save states, so we don't allow it. Try that again. Next. 
pushed out of the way. I did the same thing again. Uh, why do I keep repeating the same mistakes? Truly a barrel moment indeed. It is indeed a barrel. Just a barrel. Not a barrel moment. Just a barrel. That. Wait. I think I have another shot. Did I do this? Do that. Do that. Do this. Do this. Do this. That. That. 24! Hate this minigame so much. We're done. Oh, <laughs> this is done. Thank you. 10 seconds left. Easy. 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 First try victory. Clearly. Don't, uh, you know. Just, just believe me, I swear, this only took one try. I'm, I'm a god gamer when it comes to puzzle games with the barrels. I hate this movie so much. Yay. And for all of that, you get five Bs. The final border jump minigame is way better if you want these types of Bs. Alright. With that... What's the plan? Well, okay, hold on. Let me... This might be a good spot to wrap up, actually. Hold on. Let me go to Bing Bing. Because I'm trying to think of what's left. And other than grinding for Cyclone Bros, which I could, st I could just work on that during Joke's End. Um... Give me a minute. Let me quickly glance through the achievements very quick that I need left. If it's what I think it is. Okay. Honestly, there's not much more left. Uh, not much more. Hold on. We may, we're gonna wrap up here in a sec. But, is there anything new to buy? Because I never checked. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I... One second. I want to... Give... You the cobalt necktie. Oh, by the way, the coffee rewards, apparently it's in a set order of just how many new ones you made. Not necessarily which coffee is tied to uh, which reward. Okay, I want to buy another one. Easily slacks. Maybe jeans. I boost my stash so that way I get a bigger discount. Let's see. First of all, let's put you back on the Game Boy Horror. 
Queen Bean. So my HP will jump up to 83, and that's the best you can do. So for minus 5 defense, for plus, what, 15? 14? No. Yeah, no, 14 HP. That's, honestly, that's a good trade-off. I, I take that. You lose out on the poison resistance. I, I, I'll take that one. Yeah. And Mario, that's just a straight upgrade for you. Yeah, that's just a straight up upgrade. Yeah, yeah I wanted to buy new stuff just in case... Uh, just in case Luigi's HP would jump up to over 100. We need to get Luigi. His HP needs to get over 100 by the end of the game. Uh, there's only one other shop. Let me check Little Fungi Town. I don't think this shop updates as the, pro as the story moves on. I think that's only affecting the main one. Let me double check here. Is there anything new? I hate that this loops. Oh, there is something new. Where are these to move right after Mario? Which... I already have equipment that's like this, but I don't need that. Mushroom pants. Get mushrooms after every battle. I don't need these. These are weaker. I probably should have bought those like sooner, maybe. I didn't realize the shop updates. Okay, well... Luigi needs to prioritize... HP. is left of the game. We are almost done. And that means we're almost done with all the achievements as well. I'll let the... I'll let the ad play out. So we're only like a couple hours past probably the fastest time I beat this game. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> the fastest time I beat this was like 12 hours. But I don't think I was 100% getting everything, so... Yeah, it makes sense. And even then, I'm spending extra time just trying to, like, get high scores, so... You know what you do. Um... Let me double check, like, equipment. Is there anything better? We're trading BP for power. Yeah, it's just kind of like, do you want BP or do you want power? Oh, no, 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 that's not... Bros. No, it's not Bros. Bean Rock. What What did I have equipped? Bros Lock. That's what I want. Alright. So, let's quickly go through the achievements I got today. Let me double... Let me uh, refresh the page. Now, Popcorn Dog, you've been on a roll on the Battle Royale stuff. Alright, what did I get today? Uh, we got... So, a lot of these are the repeat ones. Uh... Okay, we got the seven neon eggs for the Beanstar piece. We created every design for Har Hall. We got the high score in the, uh, the arcade. We got the high score... We got 20 points in the barrel minigame. That took forever. We got the casual corals by from the surfing minigame. Uh, we got the Game Boy Horror SP. And we got 40 points in the Chocola Bounce minigame, which that wasn't hard. Uh, we also uh, found Spangle and gave him to Hermie. We got the Secret Scroll 2 for the Cyclone Bros. And that's all the new ones. That's all the new ones we got today. I I think next time is the finale, possibly. We should be able to beat the game tomorrow. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time.
If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Tomorrow, we beat the game and complete all the achievements. 